Why are we here? This is a question that lives deep in the heart of all of us. It usually emerges when we're children, but gets gradually pushed aside by the adults because the adults don't have an answer either. Now, to every other kind of question, how do I improve my love life, my finances, my career, how do I find a good burger? To these questions, there are answers at the level of our current perception. But the question about why this world that we're living in exists in the first place and what is its purpose, nobody knows. And in fact, everything that we do in this world that humanity has designed to busy itself is essentially to suppress this particular question. Because there is no more intolerable feeling in the world than the feeling that we're doing something for no purpose at all. This is why children hate getting certain school assignments. This is why we hate getting certain project assignments at work. If we don't feel that we're working for a very important goal, then the work becomes intolerable. The load becomes very heavy. Whereas someone who is working for an exalted goal, for an important purpose, feels that it's light work, that it's easy, that it's even fun and a joy to be working. Now, if we apply this principle to our whole life, where every day effort is required just to live and exist and make a living, this is precisely the reason that suffering is felt in this world. We can't figure out if there is actually a purpose for our lives in this world because it is costly in terms of our efforts and our work just to live and survive in this world. And all of the reasons for existing that our parents and teachers gave us where they told us that to get a good job, a career, a family, all of these things that humanity devised for itself as goals to adventure to new land, to go out into outer space, all of these things which require many efforts, when we actually weigh out the pleasures that we received from them on one side of a scale and put all of the sufferings that we went through to achieve them on the other side of the scale, if those are the reason for existing, then we would have to conclude that existing is not worthwhile. And this is why we suffer in the world. This is why we don't feel the joy of work that a great artist feels when they are engaged in their magnum opus or their symphony. But what if those goals that human beings devised for themselves, those cultural goals, scientific goals, artistic goals, family goals, what if those are not the goal of life at all? What if there was another layer beyond this reality that could only be attained from precisely this reality that we're in now? Well, this is actually the case, and there are people who reached it. They're called Kabbalists, and they were once just like us. They were children who had this question to mommy and daddy about what the meaning of life is, but they were never able to let go of this question and they pursued it for their entire lives until they attained a dimension that exists beyond what we feel in our current five senses. This world that we're in has one beautiful feature, which is that we can influence each other's desires. So when I get a text message, when I watch a news show, when I check my social media, through these media, I get influenced with desires that come from states, human emotional states, that are of this world. Kabbalists created media, books that are written from the state that we will all achieve when we attain that upper dimension. They call it an upper world in which we have boundless knowledge and unlimited pleasure. And this is actually the goal of life. So this question of why are we here, as unanswerable as it seems to be, will actually be answered. 
for each of us, and not in words, but in experience. We can reach it through all sorts of social, political, economic, familial, painful processes that lead us to that state those Kabbalists were in, where this world and life in it was so unbearable that they just longed to discover something that lies beyond this world. Or we can actually run towards this goal before the suffering comes. We can yearn towards it in a positive way. 